monitor testing for your SAP environment. Today's presenters are Mark Hebert, Chief Operating Officer, S2H, and Amar Naji, Senior Product Manager, IBM. Mark joined S2H in December 2008 as its first chief from 2006 through 2008. He was the first chief marketing officer for Virtusa Corporation, a publicly traded IT services firm. Amar, Amar joined IBM in 2008 to support the, uh, the business and product strategy for Optum for SAP solutions. He is responsible for tactical and technical guidance on how to execute and support the business objectives for the SAP segment. And as you can see on the slide here, here is their contact information. Uh, should you need to contact them, feel free to. Uh, they love to hear from you either by phone or by email. Uh, we'll be emailing a link to the recorded webinar, so we will be recording this webinar and uh, sending out the link to the webinar around uh, probably within the next uh, day or so. And you can also find it on S2H's website uh, in the next day or so as well. Uh, thank you, Mark and Amar, for presenting. I'll turn the webinar over to you now. Okay, thank you very much, Michael. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the latest in our series of ongoing webinars around IBM Optum. We've got a, a different approach today, somewhat special um, an area that we're going to present to you, uh, which is Optum for SAP. Uh, this represents the culmination of a lot of investment from IBM in recent years, as well as a significant investment by SG8 in building out some of the templates that go along with this, and you'll see what that means as we uh, go through this presentation. Um, so there's an interesting product family that IBM has, has delivered around SAP for Optum. We're going to talk about three specific components to that platform today. The Optum System Analyzer for SAP, the Business Process Analyzer for SAP, <clears throat> and the Optum Test Data Management Solution for SAP. Amar is going to walk us through those, and then I'll talk a little bit at the end about um, how we go to market with, uh, with uh, IBM uh, for this solution for SAP customers, and we'll open it up for questions. Uh, with that, I'm going to hand over the mic to Amar and let him talk, talk through these uh, great new products. Amar? Great. Thank you, Mark, and thank you, Mike, for the introduction. So, um, as uh, Mark mentioned, the IBM has had has put the uh, huge investment in the SAP uh, line of business, as well as the product family of Optum to support the uh, the SAP lifecycle management. Uh, so, as we uh, from an SAP perspective, customers we have seen customers deal with a lot of challenges when it comes to the SAP landscape. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Uh, these uh, uh, these challenges really deal with uh, the overall life cycle management of maintaining the landscape, of maintaining the applications, of continuous improvement around the business processes uh, and the line of business. Uh, the line of business always wants to be up to date on the latest and greatest of uh, business processes, enhancements, for example, uh, that come in the form of enhancement packs uh, and changes that come from SAP via support packs. At the same time, the line of business always wants to be up to date with enhancements that are they're building internally, uh, either in the form of customization, such as custom applications or enhancements, internally to customize the SAP application to fit their business. But all of this comes at a cost, at a cost that will put risk and will also put pressure on the quality team, where they're dealing with managing the expectations of the users. But at the same time, also, they want to be able to manage these application life cycles and be able to release uh, and deploy applications in a timely manner to address the needs of the business. Uh, because all, at the end of the day, it, it's really it's tied to the line of business, revenue, and, and uh, uh, the, the cost associated with all of that. So therefore, the quality team deals with all these risks and also the pressure of uh, deploying these applications on time and running test cycles, sometimes in parallel, uh, to be able to address the need of the business. Uh, but what we have been seeing is that these test cycles, they, they run uh, for a longer period of time due to the risk that the, the customers are dealing with. And these te test cycles, uh, really the main concern of these test cycles is that they, they, the teams do not want to deploy uh, uh, changes in a production environment where it can disrupt the production environment. 
A disrupting production environment, for example, in an SAP landscape can cost customers between $500 to $800,000 per hour. Uh, this is a very, very costly uh, 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 proposition in a way uh, for, to cost for a change. So therefore, uh, customers deal with these challenges with very carefully. They run multiple test cycles. Uh, and what we're seeing is that these test cycles run for a long time because customers really choose to test everything they have in regression testing. They try to test everything that they know they, they're using in an SAP environment, whether it's an ERP, BW, CRM, and so on. Uh, so the test scope identification part is a very challenging uh, component that the QA team and the functional team deal with. Uh, because of all of this, at the same time, also they deal with the test data management part that is even more challenging because the, the QA team cannot tell exactly what test data they need. The functional team is really uh, is the team that knows exactly what test data they need. However, it is time consuming to communicate and to set all of this up, so therefore they really put it on the basis team and the DBAs to provide them a clone of the environment. Uh, and the cloning of a production system in an SAP landscape can be very costly. Uh, cost, for example, related to a clone, uh, it, it can cost customers between $40,000, uh, for example, for per terabyte per year uh, to clone a production environment uh, and, have it, uh, and have it in a QA environment. And if we look at it from the test cycle standpoint, where customers can run multiple uh, test cycles in parallel, which requires multiple QA environments to be set up, which really can add up to a lot of money. Uh, at the same time, when we're dealing with cloning, there's a big component related to compliance that customers uh, forget about, and that is dealing with sensitive data. Uh, that uh, The part, that sensitive data component, what I've heard from a lot of customers is that they really, uh, the way to get around it is to get a sign-off uh, not to deal with it uh, during a test cycle, for example, from the CIOs and from the line of business, which is not a very good idea, especially when it comes to providing access to such environments to testers that are outside of the line of business or outside of dealing with the real production data. Uh, and what we're seeing also is that some homegrown applications to deal with sensitive data is not cost effective and it's costing customers even more and therefore they're really uh, they're choosing not to deal with it at all. Uh, so moving to slide uh, uh, five, uh, so here you can see here the cost, the total cost of disrupting a production environment. Uh, the challenges uh, that we're dealing with are, are real. Uh, with $300 billion in cost, uh, the annual cost of the software uh, re related downtime. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, for, from an SAP perspective, according to Forrester, uh, they mentioned that between $500,000 and $800,000, the cost uh, per downtime, per hour, uh, for downtime of an SAP environment. Uh, at the same time here, uh, looking at the risk associated with opening up a QA environment uh, to testers based on a production environment, we see the, the FAA, uh, in fact, uh, uh, ran an application testing uh, it, which was breached and they were, uh, they exposed, in fact, more than 45,000 uh, employees' information uh, to the testers. Uh, and also some of the, the statistics here, 62% uh, of companies, uh, they're actually uh, customers that are using real production test data, uh, sensitive data in a QA environment, in a development environment. Uh, and then looking at it from the, the QA perspective, between 30 and 50% of the time, the testing team is spending on setting up these test environments. And this is not only for the test cycles and for the, the test cases themselves, but also to deal with the test data uh, as well. So if we move on to uh, slide six, so also here, what does, what does that mean to the business? Uh, the business deal with all, all of these pain points, and they have to deal with them from uh, the, the loss of business, loss of customers, uh, especially customer satisfactions, uh, missing on service level agreements, 
uh, and also the inability to process transactions. And this is here now related to uh, production downtime. Uh, and when you're losing the ability to process transactions, that translates into loss of revenue as well. Uh, in addition, for, for the IT team to be able to deal with all of these uh, issues and these pain points is that uh, the time that they have to spend uh, on re reverting and rolling back changes to the production environment and dealing with all uh, the, the issues and identifying the issues and correcting them in a source environment, uh, and that is a manual and tedious process. Uh, and at the same time, for the, from a cost perspective, we're dealing with high cost related to the business, the opportunity loss, for example, and also from an IT budget standpoint. So we could see if from a totality standpoint, the cost associated with a downtime of a production environment can be, uh, can be tremendous. Now, what does that mean on, on slide seven here? We'll go through what does it mean for, for uh, customers to deal with these pain points. Uh, the objective of Optum is to allow these customers to address these complex environments uh, if from an SAP perspective and manage the increased uh, custom code, the increased enhancements that they're doing uh, in the environment and help them modernize uh, the SAP environment. Uh, by helping modernize, that means understanding exactly what custom code can be replaced by standard code, uh, code uh, from SAP perspective, uh, and then pass on that maintenance from their side and their teams to the SAP side. Uh, at the same time, allow customers to gain visibility uh, into the ever-evolving business applications. So here we're talking about these business processes that the line of business always wants to improve and keep up to date to deal with competitive situations, to deal with enhanced business processes, and also to help them avoid disruptions of their business transactions and processes. Uh, give them visibility into the impacted transactions in the SAP environment and provide focus on what exactly needs to be tested. Uh, the, the insight that they will gain into the business process is very important to, as here uh, to look at the business process objects to help them determine exactly what test data is needed uh, while protecting sensitive data. So uh, this is really some of the core components and the core capability that uh, Optum provides uh, to customers. Now, how do we do that? On, on slide eight, what we're saying is that we would like to uh, provide all of these abilities and enable customers to perform a more smarter testing approach in an SAP environment uh, and more leaner approach. Uh, it is important to have an easy to use and a fast uh, and capable solution to perform on-demand analysis. Uh, and this on-demand analysis is specifically around the SAP environments, whether it is ERP, whether it is BW, whether it is APO, and so on, to provide the ability to identify these changes as they happen, uh, to identify the changes as customers are trying to deploy new support packs or new enhancement packs, uh, or even custom bundles within the environment, uh, and provide insight into the impact what these changes are going to impact in the production environment. Uh, when you have the ability to determine these changes and determine what impact these changes are going to cause on the production environment, then you understand exactly what you need to test. You understand exactly what test data you need. So allowing, allowing customers to look at it from a, a functional standpoint and the QA team standpoint to be able to understand what test data they need on demand uh, based on all the, the test cases that they need to test or based on the impacted uh, scenarios in the environment. So it is important at the same time to protect the sensitive data uh, and stay compliant. Uh, the, we're seeing a lot, of, a lot of companies right now from Europe, Africa, Asia, uh, Latin America, they are approaching us and, and asking us for help on how to be compliant, whether it is from a security standpoint, uh, for example, within their environment, uh, to make sure that uh, users are within the, the uh, constraints of uh, segregation of duty, for example, uh, whether they're uh, looking at the authorization profiles within production to ensure that users have the appropriate authorization 
uh, and at the same time to be compliant with their test data and to allow uh, testers from all over the world, whether offshore or onshore, to be able to test and provide appropriate support for deploying applications in a timely manner without, uh, without risking the, the sensitive data. Uh, so moving on to, to slide nine, uh, we look at it from uh, the Optum solutions uh, and the Optum portfolio. Uh, we, what we do is that we look at the, the business process itself. Uh, we look at it from the impact of these business processes uh, and also all the changes that are coming into the environment for these business processes. So uh, what we do is that we identify these changes and this can be done automatically. Uh, we identify these changes, we understand exactly what these changes will impact in the production environment. We analyze the impacted processes and process steps. Uh, we have the ability to uh, raise and, and make these changes or the impacts of changes visible at the business process model if customers have a business process model. If they don't, we can help them. Uh, uh, create a business process model. We can generate it based on their existing production environment. So we, we provide that visibility into the business process model and at the same time we can link into the test plan systems and we can ident identify uh, the test scope uh, from, from these systems uh, based on the impacted executables in the environment, based on the impacted business process steps in the environment, and, uh, and then determine exactly what test cases need to be tested. At the same time, if uh, there are gaps in the test plans, then we also can uh, inform the users that there are gaps in that environment. There are some missed opportunities, uh, for example, in the, uh, in the coverage of the test plans. Uh, and based on all of this scenario, based on the results, then we provide the ability for users to see exactly what business processes need to be tested, which will allow users to determine which objects in the, uh, the SAP side on the AVAP stack, for example, what business process objects uh, can provide the appropriate test data uh, for their scenario. Uh, and then from there, we prov based on that, then based on determining the test plans and the test cases, then customers can go ahead and refresh, for example, the, the uh, QA environment with new data, and then they can trigger the automated testing, whether they're using the SAP tools uh, for automated testing or whether they're using uh, a work software example or any other automated testing tools. Uh, so moving to slide 10, uh, so here, this is some of the benchmarks that we have done uh, based on uh, existing customers. Uh, where we have seen customers look at regression testing to be done uh, based on what they use in their environment. Uh, we've seen customers use between 3,000 to 5,000 transactions in the uh, production environment, for example, of, a, of an instance. Uh, and then uh, based on that, we are seeing customers, they focus testing all these transactions, which really they don't need to. Uh, they don't need to test everything. Uh, then we have seen customers, they go and they look at what's impacted in the system and then they test what's impacted. But at the same time, uh, these impacted test cases also, uh, or impacted transactions and executables, they're also really covered, some of them, they, they, uh, they, they're covered by uh, other test cases, for example. Uh, so we run a, a very sophisticated algorithm to determine uh, the coverage to determine overlaps, for example, in the test scenarios, or to determine overlaps in the transaction codes, uh, and then based on based on that algorithm, uh, we can provide customers with a recommended executables to test or, or recommended test cases uh, that they can focus on for uh, for that specific uh, project. Uh, so what we've seen is that uh, more than 80 percent uh, test reduction. Uh, and that could that can translate to uh, to really a lot of uh, success uh, factors here related to a reduction in cost, for example, uh, related to a faster deployment for customers. Uh, and it's important to mention here that, uh, that our tools they focus not only on uh, standard SAP code but also on custom code. Uh, and we're seeing that most of the, the pain points for customers really come from custom code 
that is, uh, for example, not as performant as a standard SAP code, and they, they suffer from uh, from that such custom code. So we have the ability to run all of the, the analysis that we have uh, the ability to do on custom and standard code. Uh, and in fact, do more of a complexity, uh, custom code complexity analysis as well. Uh, so, so based on that, uh, now I'll, I'll uh, dig a little bit deeper per uh, per software component, uh, starting on slide 11, uh, where we can go into uh, the the portfolio. So, what makes the Optum portfolio? There are three uh, specific components related to the SAP side. Uh, the first one is the Optum Business, uh, the Optum System Analyzer for SAP applications, which is a web-based application that uh, sits on a Windows server, uh, and the component, this component, understands the DNA of the SAP system. It, uh, it goes in and finds out the lineage of every object in that system, uh, whether uh, it's ERP, uh, CRM, APO, SCM, SRM, whatever it is we can actually dig deep into that environment uh, and, uh, and understand that linkage uh, between objects and between transactions and between business process steps and so on. Uh, the, the main capability uh, of, of this uh, component is to provide detailed intelligent analysis uh, around uh, the, the software, around SAP, and provide real-time diagnostics. Uh, and it, to provide customers the ability to understand the impact of changes, uh, to understand differences between objects, uh, to understand differences in data as well, uh, to, to allow customers to synchronize environments. Uh, it, 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 provides, it provides a lot of capability around uh, analyzing, uh, for example, SPDD and, and, and uh, as how objects, for example, before even deploying uh, specific transactions into into SAP or before deploying support packs in SAP, uh, we can we're able to uh, help uh, to understand the impact of these changes uh, before they come into the system. It is easy to use, visually uh, intuitive web-based application. Uh, it provides a sophisticated analysis as well as easy to read reports. Uh, provide multiple level of reports such as web reports, uh, uh, access database reports, uh, uh, Excel, uh, and and uh, we target multiple users uh, with the component. We can provide the ability for users to see reports in web format uh, as well as a trigger uh, trigger workflows or what we call uh, templates as well. Uh, for business users uh, to trigger analysis, data comparison, object comparison. Uh, it provides the ability uh, to run audit analysis, for example, on security profiles. Uh, it allows for, um, uh, for really uh, different levels of analysis per users, whether it is an ABAP developer, for example, whether it is a basis uh, person that's looking to perform some uh, analysis. Uh, whether it is a functional person that's looking to compare data for migration or compare data after migration. Uh, so the tool is rich in functionality. Uh, and then from an impact uh, analysis standpoint, it provides impact analysis also at different levels for support packs, enhancement packs, uh, custom uh, transports uh, as well. Uh, the tool comes uh, bundled with uh, close to 200 pre-built pre templates. Uh, and these templates provide support uh, for analysis across a spectrum of the SAP systems, uh, including APO, uh, BW, CRM, and so on, uh, and also provides the ability to look at, uh, at SAP and analyze different components in SAP related to uh, basis, uh, related to uh, transport analysis, uh, synchronizations, uh, consolidation, uh, if if a customer has a, a use case where they would like to consolidate uh, multiple instances into one and and compare that to a global template, for example, we provide the ability as well uh, to do so. Uh, the tool integrates as well with the SAP Solution Manager. Uh, we we assist customers in adopting uh, Solution Manager, uh, which is a great tool to have in the environment to support maintenance of. Uh, the SAP uh, landscape, 
so uh, we enable, we empower customers to do that uh, as well. Uh, and on, the, on slide 12, you see here just a quick example of the templates that we provide, such as the, the impact analysis template, where you can uh, put in the, the uh, support pack, for example, that to be analyzed. And then you can see a report here as an example of a recommended executables to test. Uh, and the recommended executables to test uh, covers not only uh, uh, standard SAP, but also uh, custom uh, objects as well. Uh, on slide 13, here we see the business process analyzer. Uh, the business process analyzer uh, is a similar component uh, to OSA. It actually uh, can sit on the same, same web application server, on the same Windows server. Uh, and what the tool does, it allows customers uh, to generate business process models, uh, to create business process models. Uh, the nice thing here is that we allow customers to create business process models based on their SAP environment, based on their business processes in SAP, but also uh, they can combine it with business processes outside of SAP. Uh, however, the tool provides the ability to connect to an SAP environment to discover and generate these business process models based on the ongoing activities uh, in the production environment by looking at the application statistics, for example, in a production environment. And then we can uh, reverse engineer and release, uh, generate a business process model uh, based on uh, that current environment. We can, in fact, aggregate different uh, uh, systems. Uh, for example, in the case of consolidation, we can uh, retrieve data from multiple production environment and then overlay them on top of each other in uh, in, in a, on top of a business process model, in fact, uh, where customers can see uh, if there are any gaps, for example, between a global template and a local template or between multiple countries, for example, since there are customers uh, that have localized business processes versus a global uh, process, for example. Uh, at the same time with the Optum Business Process Analyzer, uh, in the case where customers have not uh, adopted Solution Manager uh, and specifically around the business process hierarchy, we can integrate with Solution Manager and we can help customers generate the business process hierarchy and populate it in uh, Solution Manager. Uh, we provide a reference model out of the box uh, also that can help uh, with and, and expedite the process. Uh, and uh, at the same time, we integrate the Optum Business Process Analyzer with the, system, with the uh, Optum System Analyzer to help in measuring the impact of changes on a business process model. Uh, so this way, customers can always keep their business process models in sync with ongoing changes uh, in the environment, ongoing changes in business processes, for example, that are coming from an enhancement pack or from support pack. Uh, the tools, uh, both Optum System Analyzer and uh, Optum Business Process Analyzer, they integrate with, uh, uh, with test planning tools such as uh, IBM Rational Quality Manager uh, or uh, HP Quality Center. Uh, and this integration provides a lot of benefits related to uh, tying the impacted executables from a production environment, for example, uh, based on a change that's being introduced before it gets into quality, before it gets into production, uh, this analysis ties into uh, HPQC and RQM to provide customers with uh, the test plans that need to be uh, executed. And if there are gaps, as I mentioned, if there are gaps in these test plans, then we provide the ability for customers to, uh, to see these gaps uh, and to generate the shells for, for these test plans. Uh, so it's, a, it's a really focused around increasing and automating that complete uh, life cycle and allow for a faster testing approach into, uh, for changes, to deploy changes into SAP. Uh, so moving on to uh, slide 14, uh, here this is now related to the test data management component. Uh, and with the test data management component, it is an ABAP-based component. Uh, the reason that this is an ABAP-based component is because the functional teams that understand the business processes, that work with the business processes in ERP and CRM and so on, 
they they know that UI, they understand it, they are comfortable with it. Uh, so therefore, uh, what we're, the main objective of having this component in an ABBA-based uh, uh, programming model is to allow and provide a UI for these functional testers to provision test data on demand. So this way, they're not waiting for the basis team, for example, to provision data. Uh, they're not waiting for DBAs to, to set up uh, databases and so on. So they can really on demand uh, go into the Optum tool and create subsets of test data uh, to address a specific test cycle or even to troubleshoot certain uh, production, production data, for example. Uh, so it provides the ability uh, to uh, create uh, test data, uh, generate it, copy it from, uh, from a source system, such as a production system or a production-like system, uh, without disrupting the production environment. Uh, the idea here is to, uh, to have these provisions of test data to come in, uh, you know, at a subset, uh, hundreds of records, for example, thousands of records, uh, and really to eliminate the need of a complete clone of a production environment. Uh, the complete clone, as I mentioned, it's, it's uh, costly uh, with regard to storage, it's costly with regard to time, uh, and also with the, with the risk associated with the sensitive data. Uh, the tool works at the business process object level, uh, so uh, provisioning data uh, based, for example, on a specific uh, a business process object such as uh, uh, sales orders uh, or customer master or vendor master, it allows it allows the team to focus on exactly uh, what needs to be tested or on specific data related to uh, to a change, for example, in a in a business process step related to uh, an overall uh, object. Uh, and, and then you can see on slide 15 here how the overall Optum tools uh, kind of line up with the overall uh, project uh, lifecycle of an application lifecycle management where you can leverage the Optum system analyzer, the Optum business process analyzer early on in the cycle to define requirements uh, and understand what needs to be changed. Uh, we've seen customers perform uh, an analysis, for example, in an agile manner uh, where they want to see the resources, for example, that it might require. They want to see uh, the amount of work, the amount of, based on the impact. Uh, they want to see, for example, what impact a change can cause. Uh, so they go and, and they analyze, for example, a specific object to understand that impact and then determine if they want to carry on that change or not. Uh, at the same time, uh, you can see here the display uh, of the integration between System Analyzer and the HPQC and RQM, uh, and also the integration with Solution Manager. Uh, also, IBM provides additional tools. Uh, you might have heard with regard to archiving, uh, data archiving for SAP from uh, the, the ECM component, the IBM Content Collector. And then also uh, IBM provides a database activity monitoring uh, from the Guardian uh, product uh, family. Um, and uh, in, on slide 16, uh, this is just a quick, uh, really, a picture here to show you all the different uh, analysis and different scenarios that we can address from a, a lifecycle event standpoint. Uh, we have we have performed upgrade analysis, and that is complete version upgrade, SAP version upgrade analysis, uh, support pack analysis, enhancement pack analysis, consolidation uh, as well. Uh, we're in fact working with customers that are trying to deconsolidate some of uh, some of their environments as well. Uh, so there are really a lot of scenarios. Uh, some of the the scenarios that we're we're able also to address such as compliance and audit and security and, and license management, for example. Uh, synchronization between environments, uh, comparison of data for data migration, uh, comparison of data for HR, for example, like uh, payroll variances, uh, helping in a dual maintenance landscape. Uh, SAP landscapes can get very complicated, uh, especially when it comes to multiple projects. 
uh, multiple maintenance uh, releases, for example, where uh, these dual landscapes need to be in sync as well. So we provide the ability to run comparison at different levels uh, of the of the systems to uh, understand what transports have been, uh, for example, promoted uh, by which developer, for example, to, so uh, nothing can be overwritten that 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 should not be overwritten. Uh, business process analysis, as well as, as I discussed with regard to the business process analyzer, uh, and then there's the test data management scenario, the data masking capability, refreshing data at a record level or at multiple uh, records or, or a large amount of data level, uh, and then also the data migration component. So you can see here that a lot can be covered with these tools. Uh, the scenarios are endless. Uh, we're doing a lot of different projects and different scenarios with customers uh, with regard to custom code analysis, uh, specifically around ABAP. Uh, we can do Java impact analysis, for example. Uh, within IBM, we use, uh, we use these tools as well uh, for, for audit analysis uh, and security uh, profile analysis as well. Uh, so uh, again, the, the benefits are great, uh, and the uh, the functionality is is uh, endless. Uh, and now I'll turn it over uh, to Mark. Wow, Amar, thank you very much. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Let me try to uh, net this down a little bit uh, by way of summary. Um, so SAP customers really recognize that. Uh, the SAP systems can be very complex and, uh, and in large environments with multiple implementations, uh, they can be extremely complex. And we have here a tool set that sort of combines the best of the traditional Optum test data management data privacy modules with um, these very uh, targeted analysis tools that Amar has been walking through that really help you kind of zero in on uh, the impact of changes to that that may be considered in an SAP environment or multiple environments, combine combining those tools together really can yield dramatic productivity gains in um, executing changes to SAP environments and in the um, and in the more targeted and streamlined testing process of provisioning the data, right data that's needed to do the right kind of testing for um, implementing those changes. And then lastly, to make sure that that data in those test environments is properly secured by masking sensitive data that um, non-production users shouldn't have access to. So we get lots of, lots of uh, capabilities with this tool set that promise really dramatic productivity gains in the change management process for SAP. Uh, we're very proud to be part of this new uh, product offering uh, to, to go after this, this complexity in a new market around SAP customers. We've invested pretty heavily as Estuate as an implementation partner for these tools, um, not only as an implementation partner, but as a co-development partner with, I, with IBM for uh, building out various templates in uh, test data management and data privacy. We've actually built out HR payroll, some sales and distribution, and some materials management templates already. And we're continuing to build out others. And we can, we can build, tailor, <coughs> tailor your needs and build to what you need in an individual project such that um, we, can, we can develop the right kind of templates for any module within SAP. So we're a full implementer of these solutions, Optum for SAP, and there really isn't another platform in the marketplace uh, that, that really helps SAP customers manage the change process as effectively as this. Uh, so breakthrough technology, we're proud to be part of all that. With that, I'm going to stop, and we will open it up for some questions to the audience, and, um, and then wrap up. So Michael, come on back yeah, in. Great. Great. Thank you. Uh, to the attendees, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in, by using the uh, questions area of GoToWebinar, and we'll get them answered. Mark, we have our uh, first question here. Uh, how is Optum compared to tools such as Anaya? Uh, 
So, I'll, if I may, I'll, I'll take that. Go ahead, so Amar. That's, a, that's a very good question. So, uh, so P Panaya provides uh, a, a SaaS uh, model uh, and provides a subset uh, capability of what Optum System Analyzer can do. Uh, and uh, Panaya performs uh, an analysis, an upgrade analysis, uh, and then provides a, a result uh, back to the customer. Uh, however, what we're seeing is that customers would like to do further analysis of the impact of these changes. For example, they want to run comparison, they want to dive deeper into, into an object, uh, why certain objects, for example, are uh, are being impacted differently than others, uh, and and this is where like the Optum System Analyzer can can go deeper into the DNA of the SAP systems. Uh, in addition, there's a, really a lot of features uh, that we provide, uh, as I mentioned, with regard to data comparison, object comparison, uh, with regard to IMG comparison, for example. Uh, with regard to uh, uh, audits and security audits and, and compliance with regard to security profiles. Uh, there's, there's a lot, a lot of features that Optic System Analyzer can do. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, next question. Does, um, does Optum System Analyzer perform impact analysis on support packs, enhancement packs, and custom transports? Go ahead, Amar. Uh, yes, yes, that's uh, yes. It does the uh, customer transport bundles of transport, uh, and actually, there's one one thing that I did not mention as well is that some customers they have well, there's a, a software out in the market that uh, also helps in the change management, uh, such as uh, Revelation, uh, Rest Track. It's called. Uh, we integrate with RefTrack as well to automate uh, some of that process as well. Where RefTrack captures the changes from in transport and then they generate a ref track so Optum System Analyzer can perform impact analysis on all of the, the above impact uh, on support packs, enhancement packs and transport but also the ref tracks that capture all these transports as well. Okay great thank you. Here's our next question. Can this be used for project rollout where new users are being added and they can perform access testing based on new roles or profiles created, and how are the test results documented? Uh, so it, what the system analyzer does is that it does compare, for example, authorization profiles assigned to users uh, in, in relations to uh, objects, for example, authorization objects that should be assigned to users. Uh, so we are we have seen it being used on projects uh, to to do such comparison to ensure that uh, users of a specific process or of a specific role they all have uh, roles that are in sync and not really different roles and and different uh, authorization profiles. Uh, so we have seen that uh, we're see we're using it internally, uh, in fact, to to audit such uh, profiles. Uh, because what we have, for example, internally is that we, we run an authorization process or request process uh, to request a, a, an authorization to access specific uh, transaction code in SAP. Uh, and then we make that request. And by the time it gets to the security team, uh, the security team may give something that's not in, in line with what was requested or maybe uh, even more. So what we're doing right now is performing audits based on what's requested and what's uh, uh, been assigned or allocated to the user, and we're trying to keep all of this uh, in line with with the uh, with the audit trails. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, does Optum identify the test cases that are impacted? Uh, yes, so we link uh, to the HP Quality Center, for example, or the IBM Rational Quality Manager. Uh, if you have test plans in those uh, testing tools, uh, we can integrate with, with these tools and we can identify the test cases uh, that are impacted based on the impacted uh, business process steps in the environment. And if there are no uh, impacted test cases, uh, 
uh, how, and there is, there is gap in the test plans, we also provide a report of these gaps as well. Okay, great. Thank you. Next question here. Uh, can I analyze more than one support pack at a time? Uh, yes, you can analyze as many support packs uh, at a time, in fact. It's just it's important to really assemble uh, such analysis in a way where uh, it makes sense uh, for consumption by the users and the functional team and the basis team. So you can add as many support packs uh, at one time, or you can uh, try to uh, keep them keep them more organized in a in a more in a fashion that's uh, consumable. Okay, here's our next question: Does Optum System Analyzer support custom code analysis? Uh, yes, actually we do, uh, and it does have uh, the the ABAP code analysis uh, capability with dashboard uh, capability, where it provides uh, an analysis on uh, on ABAP code, uh, whether it's uh, outdated, whether it uh, some commands are being used, for example, that should not be used in an SAP environment. Uh, we're actually working on projects right now to look at. Uh, performance impact uh, related to uh, the, the pricing uh, pricing engine, for example, uh, configurator in SAP. Uh, so it does definitely uh, address custom code analysis. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, next question here: Are there any APIs available to integrate with tools such as WorkSoft Certify? Uh, that's a very good question. So uh, we we can work with customers that are uh, that are interested in that. We do have the ability to do so. Yes, and uh, we have from IBM perspective, IBM resells in fact uh, some of the WorkSoft tools. Uh, I know for for a fact in Europe we 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 do that, and we can definitely work with uh, customers uh, that want to integrate with WorkSoft. And we do actually, we, we work very closely with WorkSoft. Okay, great, thank you. And we have time for one more question here. Um, uh, does, it, does it support Java as well? Uh, yes, uh, it does. We, we can, in fact, perform a Java impact analysis as well. Okay, great, thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to thank uh, Mark and Amar for presenting today. And thank you to the attendees for, uh, for coming to today's webinar. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, we've recorded the webinar and we'll be emailing out a link to everybody that registered. And we'll also be posting the uh, recorded webinar, webinar on S2H's website uh, within a day or so. Uh, thank you, Mark and Amar, for presenting today. And thank you, attendees, for coming to today's webinar. Mark and Amar, I'd like to uh, leave the last word with you guys. Well, let me just say that we're open for business in a brand new uh, product area with a lot of complexity and tremendous value, and we look forward to the chance to work with uh, many of you. Amar, anything you want to say to wrap up? The, the same from from my side. Uh, I appreciate everyone's time and, and, and effort for attending this, and we would love to hear from you. We'd love to work with you on any challenges you're facing in, in your SAP environment. Uh, this is how we can uh, uh, evolve the products and, and really work together on, on the next, uh, the next products. Okay, great. Thank you guys for presenting, and thank you to the attendees for attending today's webinar, and we hope everybody has a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.